is there a solution to, what, to, to all the mess that humanity as a race has created? Well, it's, it's a challenging idea, but if, and in a very simple language, if there's a problem with the development of our brain, if, if the develop, development of our brain has become retarded, one side much more so than the other, so in effect there's a, there's a glitch in our neural system, that would explain why everything else is going to hell. There's no possible way we can figure things out if our neural system's damaged. So, presuming there is, we then have a choice. Do we, do we continue with a dysfunctional neural system or do we try and fix it? And the good news is, if this is all about a change in the developmental environment, it's not about our DNA changing very much, it's just the hormones, the DNA needs to build a very advanced system. They've gone AWOL, they've disappeared. The good news is we can start putting them back, and DNA is like, a, it's, it's in simple language, it's like a blueprint. It will build what it's told to build. So if you change the hormone regime, it will build something different in the same way that humans, for example, were all born effectively born females. It's just the change in hormones that, that make massive structural changes, massive changes to our brain and therefore our perception and you end up with males and females. That's all about hormones. So the mechanisms are very powerful, hormones are very powerful and it's entirely plausible to start putting the missing hormones back and what you end up with in principle is the DNA building a functional brain again. Okay, okay. and how can people's diet facilitate this change if it can? So yes, I mean, we can use the word diet but I think it has a much more profound meaning that, than that. We all choose what we build ourselves from, we all choose how we construct ourselves and how we construct our children. That's a choice we make every day. So we can begin choosing, putting some of this stuff back. Diet, I would say diet alone isn't enough to correct this problem, but it's a big part of the jigsaw. And we already know an awful lot about how diets can make us incredibly unhealthy and incredibly unwell. You only have to look around at the epidemics of diabetes, cancer, dementia and so on. Most of these are dietary related. We turn that around and you start putting in some of this really cool, complex biochemistry that's highly protective, incredibly well designed for, for primates and humans, it will start slowing this problem and begin to reverse it. So yeah, diet is a big issue and you start increasing the percentage of raw food so you're not using materials that have been damaged by heat and you start increasing the percentage of fruit, that will have a massive impact. So, Tony, based on what you've just told us about the left and right, the relationship between the left and the right parts of our brain, our symbiotic relationship with forest and fruits, uh, what, what, what is your overall conclusion? Um, well, in, you know, in, in a nutshell, um, basically saying the origins of our unique consciousness system were symbiotic. It was a close relationship with the flowering plants, particularly fruit. Incredibly unique biochemical formula. Um, that's what gave us all these wonderful traits, that's why we had these accelerating traits, very unusual. We lost that symbiotic connection, there's been a degeneration, it's left us with a, a neural system, a brain and a consciousness system that just doesn't work properly anymore. Uh, however, it is possible to begin restoring that, in fact we know a lot of the mechanisms that can turn this around. We're just currently in the loop where we're not able to see the problem because of the condition it's created. We're running on a primitive system that generally thinks things are still advancing despite the vast evidence in our behavior and our health and pretty much everything else that we've gone completely crazy. However, I'd like to think we still have enough function to begin recognizing this and once we recognize the problem, actually it's not such a difficult thing to sort out. A problem in our neural system? Yeah, it's challenging but we can fix that. That's great. We're very, very grateful for you coming to join us uh, to answer our questions and to just expand on the revolutionary theory in our, in our perception. And we're wishing you best of luck with your book and uh, all, all your future work. Thank well, you thanks very much. much. Obviously, it's a very quick summary, so there's a lot more detail available on the website. You can have a look at Left in the Dark or Beyond Belief, we or obviously totally have a look at the book because all the information's there. This is just a very quick summary. Thank you very much. Okay, thank All the you. Best.